is love, but likes to eat quick little fish. The lovely and lethal cone snail does it by firing harpoons full of toxins so powerful that Homeland Security has studied their potential as bioweapons. Biochemist J.P. Bingham has studied these stealthy killers for two decades. If you were on the beach and you saw some of these snails, you'd must you pick them up. They are very spectacular organisms, but they're inside they are deadly beauties. They are killers. This particular guy, Geographus, you get one whack from that, you're pushing up the date as you did. For a long time, no one knew for sure that cone snails were killers. Sometimes victims would be found dead on a beach with no apparent cause. Perhaps just a pocket full of shells. But in 1936, an unfortunate Australian picked up a cone snail to show to his friends. And what he did, he took his knife and started to scrape the shell, the barnacles or the uh, uh, covering on the shell. If you want to tick off a cone shell, that's what you do. And people will witness this. He was stung in the hand. He had the cone shell hanging from his hand. He slumped down immediately and started going into some type of shock. He fell into a coma and he was dead in three hours. At autopsy, they found the cone snail's tiny harpoon, no bigger than an eyelash. It works this way. First, the snail sends out its siphon to smell for a victim, usually a fish. Then it unfurls something called a proboscis. Inside are the venom-laden barbs, a whole quiver of them. One is loaded and shot at the target, which is immobilized and eaten. They're like an old whaling harpoon. They basically stick into the flesh, and the fish actually is tethered to the cone shell by the harpoon, which is now brought in to the rostrum or to the mouth, which is now expanded, and then the fish is then consumed uh, in a ball of uh, slime. That is how one of the slowest creatures on Earth can kill one of the quickest. But their toxins aren't just deadly. They're valuable. That's why JP goes to incredible lengths to obtain a tiny droplet of venom from each of his snails.